So whenever we change a sentence from direct to indirect, simple present will be changed to simple past. Present continuous will be changed to past continuous. Present perfect will be changed to past perfect. Present perfect continuous will be changed to past perfect continuous. Simple past will be changed to past perfect. Past continuous will be changed to past perfect continuous. Past perfect will remain past perfect. Past perfect continuous will also remain past perfect continuous. And in future, will will change to would. Okay. So what is a direct speech? Direct speech is saying what someone said without any changes, as it is. Okay. And we use quotation marks. Now, if you use quotation marks, you will not change anything. The same sentence has to be spoken. Just you have to enclose it into inverted commas. Have you seen that? He said comma and then 66 and then we write full stop and 99. If you're writing in that way, then it is a direct speech and you do not change any uh, the, uh, you don't make any changes, right? But if it is indirect, then we do not use in, uh, quotation mark and we use a conjunction, which is that. He said that. And then we have to make the changes, the rules which we have done just now. Okay. Okay, now let's see this. Uh, he said, I go to school every day. So he went. Simple present changes to simple past. Simple past will change to past perfect. So I went will become I had gone. P present perfect, I have gone will change to past perfect. Present continuous will change to past continuous. Past Continuous remains past continuous only. Sorry, past continuous will change to past perfect continuous and future will change from will to would. Okay. Yes. So let us uh, do some examples. You will tell me which tense it is and it has been changed to which tense. I can speak perfect Spanish. So can would, will be changed to could. He said that, we have to use that, he could speak perfect Spanish. Have will change to had. I haven't seen Mary. He said that he hadn't seen Mary. What is your name? Simple present. So change to what my name was. Now see, if it is a question, we don't say said. We write asked. She asked me. Okay. He said that he had been sleeping. Sorry, I was sleeping when Mary called. Now tell me which tense it is. Past continuous. So it will be changed into which tense? Past continuous changes to? Past perfect continuous. So had been sleeping. Okay. Now, please help me. What is this? If I say, please help me. What is this? Imperative sentence. Imperative sentence. So he asked me to help him. Okay. It. Uh, there are some mistakes here. His yoga. He asked me to help him. I. It is too late. It was too late, okay? I had taken Spanish uh, lessons before. Which tense it is? Past perfect. Hmm. So past perfect doesn't change. It is as it is, right? Past perfect and past perfect continuous, they do not change, okay? Did you do your homework which tense? Present tense. Past, past. Did, did. Past tense. Simple past. So, past perfect. If I had done my homework. Okay.
Okay. So now we can see here present is changing, simple present is changing to simple past, present continuous is changing to past continuous, simple past is changing to uh, he had bought, it will be he had bought, okay, there's a mistake here. You have to put had here, okay, he had bought, past continuous, he was walking, so past perfect continuous, had been, okay, I haven't seen, have will change to had okay and if it is had then there will be no change okay will will change to would would and if it is would then there will be no change can would change can will change to could but could could will be could only should will will be should only might will also be might okay so could should would, might, they will be same. Okay. Ma'am, uh, for the third sentence. Yes. You said I bought a car, right? Huh. So uh, it could be like, uh, we can say he said he bought a car also, no? He said that he had so bought. I have, I have bought a car or something like that. Then we can say he said he had bought a car. Hmm. I bought a car. He said that he bought a car. We can say like that also. He had bought a car is also correct. He said that he had bought a car. Okay. Okay. Because normally what we do is we change simple past to past perfect. And past uh, continuous is changed to past perfect continuous. But this way also it is not wrong. Okay. As I told you, it depends. Like if I am still uh, in Paris, so you can say she said that she's living in Paris because I'm still in Paris. So both ways it is correct. Okay. So you can see that like if Saina is saying I am happy and we have to report Saina said she was happy. Either you write in that way or you put these inverted commas. Got it? So when you put inverted commas, it is direct speech. And when you remove those inverted commas and you uh, change the tense, then it is indirect or reported. Okay. Also, as I told you that pronouns will also be changed. So I will become he or she. Like here I'm saying I read English. And when you report it to someone, it will be she. So these are the changes for the pronouns. We, agar abhi hum yaha class mein hai, aur hum bolte, we are enjoying. So if somebody reports, then what it will be? They were enjoying. So we will change to they. You will change to he, she or they. So these are the changes which will be there. Okay. If here I say that um, you like me. So me will be changed. When you report it to someone, you will say she like her. Yes. So these are the changes. If I say um, uh, they like us. And when you report, you will say she said that they liked them okay so these are the changes which will be there in the pronouns okay you can take a screenshot mine will change to his or hers okay ours or theirs so you can take a screenshot so this is the general rule that simple present changes to simple past present continuous changes to past continuous Simple past will change to past perfect. Pa uh, present perfect changes to past perfect. So has and have will change to have, right? Will will change to would, can becomes could, have becomes had. And if it is imperative sentence, what are imperative sentences we have done? What are imperative sentences? Commands, orders, requests. Yeah. Yes. So there we have to use two. For example, uh, here I'm saying, um, listen to me. 
So now when you will tell the same thing to somebody else after the class, you will say, Shweta ma'am was saying that, uh, sorry, was asking us to, right? You will use to listen, okay? For example, if I say, um, open your book. So you will tell somebody that Shweta ma'am told or Shweta ma'am said to or asked to open the book. So we have to use to. Okay, when there is a command, order, request. Okay. So let us read some more examples. I can, okay, we have done this. Okay. So can you all see this? Hmm. So Shweta will read a direct sentence and Satya will read indirect sentence. Okay, so now present simple, she always wear a coat. Yes. He wears said a that. coat. He said that she always wore a coat. I'm looking for my keys. She said that she was looking for her keys. She has written three letters for her friend. He said that she had written three letters for her friend. My friend gave me a bar of chocolate. He said that his friend had given him a bar of chocolate. I will finish my report in two days. He said that he would finish his report in two days. I can speak English. She said that she could speak English. I may invite them to dinner. She said that they might invite them to dinner. I must, I must go to the bank and get some money. She said that she had to go to the bank and get some money. I have to submit the assignment by 3 p.m. tomorrow. She said that she had to submit this assignment by 3 p.m. tomorrow. Okay. Okay, so is it clear to everyone or there is any doubt? Any doubts? Okay, now who will read? Who will read? Nabila, ma'am. And with Nabila, who will read? Okay, Nabila, you read. Okay. Direct, direct speech. Direct quoted speech involves quoting the exact word uttered by the person within inverted comma, commas or quotation mark. For example, she said, I won't be coming home tonight. Tom said, the, there's a tiger outside the window. Indirect speech. Indir indirect reported speech, on the other hand, does, doesn't have to be within quotes or reported word to word. For example, she told him that she was happy. He told me that he was tired. Direct speech. He said, I am fine. He said that he was fine. He said, I have been married for three years. He said that he had been married for three years. He said, I went to the theater yesterday. He, he said that he had gone to the theater the day before. He said the show was already underway when the chief guest arrived. He said that the show was already underway when the chief guest arrived. I have finished, ma'am. Okay. 
So did you understand? Any doubt? So when it is quotation mark, it is direct. I won't be coming home tonight. It is in inverted commas. Okay. So how would you translate it to indirect? She said, I won't be coming home tonight. What will be the indirect speech for this? You said I, that she wouldn't be coming home tonight. Yes, will will change to would. So she said that she would not be coming to home. Now there is one more thing. Tonight. So is it about tonight when you report? No. The day before that night that we will day. write that night got it that night okay and what will be the uh, for the second sentence tom said there's a tiger outside the window he said that there was a tiger outside the window Hmm. Yes, there was a tiger outside the window. Okay, so I am fine. He was fine. I have been married. He had been married. I went. He had gone. Was already. So he said the show was already underway when the chief guest arrived. Now, why there is no change in the tense? Anybody can tell me. He said that the show was already underway when the chief guest arrived why there is no it's change perfect ma'am it is actually already in past tense yes and we we have used already the show was already under the way you have to sometimes communicate the same sentence right was already underway so it is a kind of past where the thing was going on. So there is no need to change the tense. Now, as I am saying, when I went guess there, let's say there is a show. Now, I have to say that when the guest came there, when the guest came, the show was going on. So the show was still going on. If I say this to someone again, then what will I say? कि जब गेस्ट आए तब शो चल रहा था देर इज अ कंडीशन कि जब गेस्ट आए समझ गए है ना उस कंडीशन पे हमने जब सेंटेंस दिया है तो कंडीशन तो सेम है है ना तो सेम कंडीशन पे जब हम बात करेंगे तो टेंस चेंज नहीं होगा अंडरस्टूड अगर यहाँ पे चीफ गेस्ट जब आए ये नहीं होता देन वी वुड हैव चेंज द टेंस because we have already mentioned the particular time that, or a condition that when the chief guest arrived. So that because of that, it will remain same. I hope I am clear or not. Please tell me. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am, it is clear actually. Please, if any doubt, let me know. No? Shall I proceed? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay. Okay, now who will read?
मैम मैं मैं पढ़ती हूँ दीपा ओके दीपा एंड अलका सो दीपा यू रीड डायरेक्ट एंड अलका विल रीड इन डायरेक्ट ओके ओके मैम डायरेक्ट स्पीच प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट सिंपल आई डोंट लाइक फिश सी सेड पास सिंपल शी सेड शी डिडेंट लाइक फिश प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस आई एम गोइंग अवे फॉर अ फ्यू डेज ही सेड पास कंटिन्यूस he said he was uh, he was going away for for a day for a few days past simple i saw helen in june she said she said she had seen helen in june will i will tell him she said would she said she would tell him can i can speak a little french she said could she said she could speak a little french okay so tell me which tense was changed in the first sorry uh, may i may be late he said might he said he might be late must i must go she said had to she said she had to go okay so must will be changed to had to had to okay now may will be changed to might can will be changed to could will will be changed to would, would. simple past will change to past perfect present continuous changes to past continuous and simple present changes to simple past any doubts no ma'am we are taking more and more examples okay now who will read simple past may i wait wait, wait. not this one we will do this we have done let us take this one okay who will read who will read direct speech okay with alka who is reading may i ma'am deepa okay present simple she said it's cold past simple she said it was cold present continuous she said i am teaching english online past continuous she said she was teaching english online present perfect simple she said i have been on the web web since 1999 past perfect simple she said she had been on the web since 1999 present perfect continuous she said i have been teaching i have been teaching english for 7 years past perfect continuous she said she had been teaching english for 7 years past simple she said i taught online yesterday past perfect she said she had taught online yesterday past continuous she said i was teaching earlier past perfect continuous she said she had been teaching earlier past perfect she said the lesson had already started when he arrived past perfect no change she said the lesson had already started when he arrived past perfect continuous she said she said i am i had i had already been teaching to for 
uh, minutes no change she said she had already been teaching for 5 minutes okay so now can you tell me why there is no change in the last sentence in the last two sentences why there is no change yes so past perfect and past perfect continuous they will not change okay i hope we have done lots of examples and now everyone is clear yes ma'am yes ma'am yes, okay now there are some more rules see here if it is now now is changed to then then okay. today will be changed to that day that day here will be changed to there yes tomorrow will be changed to the day after yes and next week will be the week after yesterday will be the day before last week the week before yes ago previously, previously. tonight that night that, that night. night next saturday that saturday last sunday the sunday before yes next year the following the year so last will become before and next will become following for example last week so what you will say go remote do let's see in the the week before next year uh, next uh, next day so what will you say the following day yes okay so we have to look for these changes which are done subject pronouns um, are changed pronouns are changed tense is changed and also these adverbs also change okay so this is all for today see you all tomorrow practice these sentences now the homework is you have to write a story in which you will use in direct sentences i will listen to everyone's story you have to write a story okay has anyone done yesterday's work sentences i have given for idioms yes is there anyone who has made sentences no okay no problem sorry yesterday i can't attend this class see yes uh, ma'am so you have to say i could not hamesha yesterday ke sath mein could theek hai yesterday i could not attend the class okay yeah uh, ma'am i have done two idioms okay uh can i read out yes please uh the best of the best of both worlds means you can enjoy two different opportunities uh, for example i have the best i have the best of both worlds a wonderful family and a great job very good very good what is the other uh, uh to cost an arm and a leg uh that that means very expensive a uh, fuel is these days cost an arm and a leg yes something which cost an arm and leg means which is very expensive we have not done this one mm -hmm. so we can take this for today hum aisa tab bolte hain jab koi cheez bahut hamare budget ke bahar hai hai na very expensive to cost an arm and a leg matlab socho aap apna ek haath aur ek paon de do to kitna mehenga hai hai na to cost wo itna aapko cost padega matlab bahut zyada cost padega aapko to cost you an arm and a leg okay so please ha huh, you can do this also every day everyone uh, come up with one idiom so every day one or two idioms new idioms bring this is a homework that everyone has to come up with two idioms so that this way every day we will learn so many new idioms okay yes ma'am we also don't have uh, don't done a piece of cake yes a piece of cake is something which is something very it's very easy very easy this is a uh, 
teaching english is just a piece of cake for me that means something which is very easy so tell me what is a piece of cake for you all aapke liye kya karna bahut aasan hai a piece of cake a piece of cake uh, solving math mathematics is a piece of cake for me yes so you are good if you are good at maths so solving mathematics will be a piece of cake for you what is easy for you alka uh, uh a piece of cake uh, i reading sanskrit sanskrit is a piece of cake for me sanskrit is piece of cake okay hmm. what about you nabila and satya baking is a piece of cake for me okay and nabila stitching is a piece of cake for me very good okay so bring two idioms and write a story where you have used uh, indirect reported form of speech generally hum stories mein use karte hain hai na aisa hua fir usne usko ye bola fir usne usko ye bola hai na to we use indirect or reported speech in a story okay so we can use both direct and indirect yeah. speech right ma'am yes we can we can include dialogues if, yes if you are using uh, inverted commas then it will be direct okay okay idioms means muhavre muhavre okay okay chalo bye have a nice day bye bye thank you anyway